Hey everyone, Jen here. So today we are gonna be working on an amazing recipe for roasted vegetables. I know, I know, people don't like veggies, but I promise you when you eat them like this, you will decide that they are really, really tasty. So let's turn around and let's look at what we got here today. Okay, so cooking from home today. Okay, so um, I decided we should give about three vegetables that most people don't really like, and uh, we're gonna try roasting them, and and uh, actually we're gonna cover them in panko breadcrumbs, and that'll make it crispy, and we're gonna bake it in the oven, and uh, it's gonna be really, really delicious. So we have got Brussels sprouts, okay, and we've got broccoli, and we got cauliflower. So ahead of time, I um, washed and chopped up the cauliflower, and then I found already pre-cut uh, broccoli and already pre-cut Brussels sprouts. So, and that's a really easy way to make things a little bit easier when you're in the kitchen. And you know, it does cost a little bit more, so you're more than welcome to get a head of broccoli and get a, a bag of Brussels sprouts and cut them up yourself. But for sometimes it's just easier just to have it already cut up. So we've also got panko breadcrumbs, okay? So this is what they look like, all right? And um, they're gonna stay really crispy while uh, the food is cooking. And I've also got two eggs mixed with some water. So, and, uh, so I'll show you the process of how that's gonna look. I also have some olive oil here and the seasonings. So the seasonings that we're gonna season up our breadcrumbs with is black pepper, cayenne pepper, and you could leave that out if you don't like things spicy. I have onion powder and garlic powder. So, but really here, you could add any spices you like. If you, you could add some rosemary, you could add some thyme, you could add Parmesan cheese. It's really up to kind of whatever you want your vegetables to kind of taste like. So I'm gonna put that in the panko breadcrumbs and you know, I'm just gonna use my hands and I'm gonna stir the breadcrumbs up, okay? So I've also got a pan that's ready and I've got my oven on at 400 degrees. So the very best way to do this is you got two hands. So what you'll do first is You'll keep this hand over here only working with the egg mixture, this hand over here only working with the panko mixture. That way this hand doesn't get real dirty and this hand doesn't get real dirty. So you just start with a couple pieces of cauliflower. Okay, the egg is mixed with some water. Really what this is gonna do is gonna just get your vegetables a little bit wet so that the breadcrumbs can stick to them. Okay, so I only just use this hand for the egg mix. So then I set it over here into the panko crumbs like that. And then what we do is we'll just coat them with these panko breadcrumbs. Look at me, see? That's what happens when you mix the two things up. So anyway, ah, you'll just Cover your vegetables with the panko breadcrumbs. It's, it's not gonna be a lot. It's just gonna be just a fine little coating, okay? See there? Then what you're gonna do is you are gonna place it on your sheet, okay? All right, so then we've got our veggies on the sheet. You'll just continue until you're all finished with all your cauliflower. Okay, now we'll just do the same thing for the for the broccoli, okay? And I'm gonna just cook this all in the same pan. All right, so we get our broccoli and the egg wash to the breadcrumbs. Okay, eventually your breadcrumbs will start getting a little too damp and that's when you'll just add some more breadcrumbs to the mixture, okay? This is really just gonna give it like a crisp. It's gonna make it Give it a little bit of taste because we got some seasoning on the vegetable uh, in the breadcrumbs and 
but mostly it's going to give a real nice crisp. Okay, and then let's do these Brussels sprouts. Okay, so these Brussels sprouts are halved. So here we go. Brussels sprouts coated in egg wash and then into the breadcrumbs. Just like that. I'm going to put it with the flat side up. these leaves like these are gonna be good too it's just part of the Brussels sprouts we'll just kind of put them all together I think those will crisp up real fast okay so once you've got that you've got your veggies on your tray like this okay you can fill this tray up some more um, and, and and you know if you needed two trays to fit all your veggies on uh, you could go ahead and do that they can all cook at the same time now the last step is some olive oil okay and what you're gonna do is you're just going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil okay I forget this olive oil comes out fast so just a little bit of olive oil on the pieces of veggies okay this will help it crisp up too don't forget don't miss don't forget this step. Okay. So this is what's gonna help it crisp up in the oven too, along with the panko breadcrumbs. Okay, so then this will go in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes at 400 degrees. I already have my oven on, so I'm gonna get these in the oven and we will come back and see what they look like when they're all finished. Hey everyone, so my roasted veggies, roasted panko veggies, Get, came out of the oven. They actually took closer to like 25 minutes because I like them to get really crispy and uh, really soft. So anyway, guys, I know these can be scary veggies, but trust me when I tell you that even picky eaters like these vegetables prepared like this. Roasting veggies just brings out their natural sweetness. And then you add a little bit of crunch and you add your seasonings that uh, you added to your breadcrumbs and uh, it just makes them completely delicious. So, uh, anyway, I'm going to enjoy these uh, delicious veggies. And I hope you guys give this recipe a try. And, uh, you know, try all kinds of different veggies. You can do carrots, you can do zucchini, all kinds of delicious veggies. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.